Class, tradition, and style. What is the first camera brand that comes up to mind when those three things are brought up? Most definitely, a Leica. All right, how's it going guys? It's Raf from BNC Camera. I'm here today with David, yes. who I've also worked with as well too here at work. How's it going, man? It's going good, how are you doing? Dude, good dude, good. Um, so, you know, you've been doing photography, man. How long have you been doing photography? Uh, at this point, I want to say it's uh, been a solid 10 years. Nice, uh, nice. And uh, what, do you, what have you been typically shooting with? You know, what's kind of what's your, kind of your art style and work? Um, so for the most part, I like to describe the photos I take as double exposure um, mm -hmm. with like an abstract approach. Okay. Meaning I like to use stencils as like part of the layout and design, like how I'm taking them. Yeah. And it's all a long process at that. But uh, at this point, I'm very happy with everything that is coming from that. For the most nice. Part. And mm -hmm. yeah. So. And I know you've been working a lot with, uh, you're doing a lot of film stuff as well too, which we'll hopefully cover in the next video. Uh, but you're working with Black Magic and doing the exposures as well too, right? Uh, yeah, something like that to some kind of degree. Yeah, cool. some's trying to be abstract in that approach as well. All right, awesome, cool. Um, so for today's video, we're gonna go ahead and discuss a little bit about the new Leica M11 camera. Yeah. It just came out recently. Uh, we had a chance to go out to First Friday and actually shoot with this camera system. So uh, what are your thoughts, man, so far with the system? I mean, you know, the overall ergonomics of it, the design, the shooting feel of it. Uh, you've done uh, street photography predominantly uh, during yeah. those 10 years, right? So, yeah, definitely. Yeah, what do you think? Um, yeah, so coming from the other bodies that I've gotten to experience shooting with, mm -hmm. it definitely still stays true to the Leica ergonomic feeling of it. Yeah. Just the way that it's, uh, you know, compact, sleek, and really designed for a street photographer mm -hmm. who's just on the go and incognito. Yeah, yeah. So, as well as the sharp lenses to pair with it, mm -hmm. it's... Uh, as always very solid yeah I mean the camera is quite a beaut you know everybody was giving you looks you know just for you and the camera as well too you know what I'm saying so yeah. Um, definitely, yeah, man. yeah definitely with the new black aluminum finish mm -hmm. it is lightweight at that compared to the other bodies yeah. so I like that a lot it mm -hmm. almost felt like nothing was in my hand yeah what about uh, the battery life uh, you know we even sh we shot a majority of the night uh, how did the battery hold up yeah first a good three, four hours were consistently shooting mm -hmm. and it had really no issues. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, my takeaway from it is the battery life is very much improved. Mm -hmm. I know roughly more or less you get 700 shots on a full battery. Okay, cool. Yeah, so as long as you even got an extra one charged up, I can't imagine that it would ever really be an issue. Yeah. Uh, in terms of the rangefinder style system, you know, are you a big fan of the rangefinder style? Did it take you a little bit uh, to get accustomed to it? Um, you know, yeah. what, what do you think about the rangefinder system? It all takes practice for sure. Yeah, I got used to it more towards the end mm -hmm. um, because I do come from shooting DSLR film mm -hmm. or just SLR style bodies for the most part. Yeah, uh, it is different in that whole approach. Mm -hmm. But as convenient as like those cameras are designed, mm -hmm. it really is a technical wa marvel, if you will, right? Pretty Basically, much. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Cool. To sum it up. Tight. Tight. Um, so yeah, is there any other things you'd want to talk about with the system? You know, any anything good? Any like minor? Yeah, at this point in the Leica M11 M series line in general, mm -hmm. this is the first Leica to offer the highest dynamic range. Oh, nice. So at 60 megapixels, it's offering 13 stops of dynamic range, mm -hmm. but it also has the ability to drop down to resolutions like 36 and 18 megapixels. Yeah. For example, when you're dropping down to 36, the dynamic range opens up even more mm -hmm. to 15 stops nice so the entire night we were shooting i decided to meet it right at the middle at 36 megapixels because mm -hmm. uh you know for whatever reason you are using 60 megapixels it's a lot of information right, so right. maybe if you're doing high-end uh, fashion photography product photography mm -hmm. you know things along these lines so i just wanted to do something right in the middle for just being out and about street photography style. Okay, cool. And I paired it with the 35 millimeter 
Sumalux Lens, mm -hmm. which was an awesome pair, probably one of my favorite focal lengths at that. Yeah, that's typically a standard uh, go-to in terms of street photography. Now we got to see a lot of cool stuff. Was there anything from First Friday that like you had the most fun shooting? I know we, we shot a band. Um, who was the band that uh, you shot with again? Yeah, uh, that so that was a local band, Deacon Hill. Cool. Um, yeah, just starting out, great yeah. band. Mm -hmm. And I knew really that was one of the main things I wanted to shoot because yep. rock and roll, there's lots of, uh, you know, just movement at that mm -hmm. with the musicians and uh, say for the drummer, for example, I got tons of shots yep. of him just, you know, like coming, shooting from behind him, mm -hmm. just like you get, you know, slow shutter movement and just all of See his, all the little you know, like movements and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So that was a main target for the night mm -hmm. as well as uh some random cars that we've seen yeah we saw like a back to the future car <laughs> in the first video which is pretty awesome yeah. so and um, uh yeah just really the whole ambience and vibe of first friday and just mm -hmm. what that whole culture is for yeah. us yeah so I'm, I'm glad that we were able to capture that hopefully we'll cover more first friday events showcasing different cameras but i mean um you know so far watching you shoot with the system uh it looks like you had a lot of fun uh you showed me a lot of the really sick monochrome uh photography stuff that you did with the system yeah i um, couldn't really help to not shoot on it oh yeah it's a yeah, it's a beautiful always. yeah mm -hmm. so. yeah so of all the presets uh that are offered in the camera mm -hmm. that was definitely a must so i shot on the monochrome mm -hmm. uh, high contrast mode yeah. And also you can make some altercations to that contrast mm -hmm. or sharpness if you want more or less. All right, man, cool. Well, uh, any final thoughts on the camera system so far? Um, with, you know, with like, I mean, of course, it's a very sleek, beautiful ergonomic system, super light, super compact. Um, any final thoughts, man? Oh, well, I mean, I guess forgetting to mention as well, it mm -hmm. has uh, as, an, as a backup internal 64 gigabytes, that, which was oh yeah, like, right. Mm -hmm. you know most cameras are not going to provide that yeah or have that capability so mm -hmm. if you just forgot your memory card mm -hmm. and uh yeah as a backup it's very solid yeah it's really convenient especially if you end up filling up your card or something like that too so mm. all right brother i appreciate you taking mm -hmm. the time to kick yeah. it with me here and reviewing Absolutely. the system we had a fun time uh hopefully we'll be able to review more stuff in the future um so keep it locked and again, man, appreciate you swinging on into the studio here. This is David's work right here. Beautiful piece of art. <laughs> this is mine up here. So yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. <laughs> cool. Peace.